And now, ready to make his way to the ring from the red corner, Carlos Negro. Gentlemen from the Miami Airport Convention Center in Miami, Florida. Our next bout is brought to you by Road Warrior Promotions. This is your co-main event of the evening, scheduled for eight rounds of professional boxing in the heavyweight division. The three judges scoring at ringside, Christian Diaz, Mario Perez, and Rich Green. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee, Sam Burgos. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with red trim. He weighed in at 250 pounds, a veteran of 20 professional bouts. From Cincinnati, Ohio, here is Antoine Tuck. We got one, boo. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing the black trunks with a gold and white trim. He weighed in at 248 pounds. His professional record, 23 wins, three losses, 18 wins by way of knockout. El hijo de Villalba, Puerto Rico, in Miami, Florida. Here is Carlos. Negro! Okay, 33 years old, 23 and 3. Anna, what do we know about Mr. Negron? Negron is uh, staging a bit of a comeback. Losses in 2018 and 2019 at Barclays Center. He has three wins. He's on the back of three wins. Um, he has a, you know, a, a very long and stellar record. He's a serious fighter here. He's 23 and 3 with 18 KOs. A uh, significant amateur career, too, from Puerto Rico, represented Puerto Rico in all sorts of international events, and he's making a comeback. I'd say keep your eyes on because it's not going to last more than a round. No, I don't think so either. I'm kind of scared for the opponent looking at these first few seconds, actually. I don't know how Cubs <laughs> has 20 fights. He's got a nice pair of, it looks like Jordans. <laughs> Jordans wearing, in the ring. 20 fights and he can't get back. Moving around. Big swing and left hook, but oh, oh, he caught the he girl. Connected. He connected. He hit him. I think the girl's a little surprised here. <laughs> Mr. Tubbs threw a punch at him that I've seen in a Bruce Lee movie somewhere, <laughs> and he hit him. Hey, you know, like we said earlier, some of these guys <laughs> listen that are awkward, un unorthodox, and out of control. Sometimes it can be a little bit tougher. Ben Carlos. Well, he, must, he wants to be just time. like Mike in those shoes that he's wearing. Right. So you never know. Michael, he, he wanted to go for Mike Tyson, not the Michael Jordan. Well, he's he's not going to get caught and stop or anything like that. Maybe it's a little surprise. Hands up. Well, Carlos Very experienced. Also has over 100 amateur fights with Puerto Rico. Oh yeah, Negron. Uh, like I said, I know Negron back from from the day. I remember him. He was seasoned. Got some amateur background. You can see in there, he knows what he's doing. He's gonna pick his moments. He's not rushing either, you know, you can he's tell. He's taking his time, he's uh, an uh, eight-rounder, so he has time. 
vicious body shot. Uppercut to the body. Yeah, he's definitely going to throw with intentions. He might use the jab. He may use that jab a little bit just to kind of feel him out. But when he go, when he's going to throw a shot, he's going to he's going to hit this guy and maybe put him to sleep. Tabs is not easy. Customer is a very awkward. Oh, player. and there you go. You see, now exactly first knockdown of this of the fight. Hit to the body on I the think way that down. Was a body shot, it more was of a, a body slip. shot while he was on the way down. Yeah, but I don't think he wants to fight. That body shot didn't hurt him. I think he's looking for a way out already. I think he knows what he's been for. I think we're going to see some desperation out of Tubbs here. He's going to be trying to throw that wild. We're not talking about Rico Tubbs from Miami Vice. We're talking, yeah, we sure you know, are. Antoine Tubbs. Ooh, that uppercut just missed. That would have put poor Tubbs. Uh, overhand right just missed again. And Negron is throwing punches from every different angle. He's really looking for the left, left hook to the body. Oh. Well, as he caught right hook to the body, right to the head. I see. I don't. I just don't see it there. Oh. No. Got caught with a grazing left hook. That was a bit it of a glancing a blow. It was he a push, and he out. doesn't want to get up. He's up though. It was a push. He, he said he wants he to fight. Made it through the first round. All right. Made it through the first round. He's he didn't quit. Around. That's more than I expected it, so. <laughs> no, tough crowd. Well, that was a push. <laughs> I, I thought it, it was, was a push and then a glancing push. blow. A glancing and blow that didn't hit him. No. We'll see if he comes out. He got up, so I see him maybe coming out for the second round. I don't think he'll make it through the second round. What do I know? I don't know. Let's see what he has, uh, you know, to show us. Drew, what do you think? He'll make it through the second? I got a hard time seeing him making it a full three minutes. I got to... I got to think that within the first minute, Negron's going to come out, put the pressure, and, and stop this fight. Yeah, I hate his, sitting here and just criticizing all the things fighters do, but that's what we're here for. That's yeah. why they pay us the big money. That's why they pay <laughs> us the millions, to come out here and give an honest critique of what's going on. The fans see the same thing we're seeing. Yeah. We're Listen, just seeing it closer. We say good things, too, when it's due, so. It's easier to see some of the things, too, when you've been in the ring. Yeah. So I can see some of the things that maybe the average fan might not no see. No more than a minute. But we'll see. We've seen fun. Stranger things happen tonight. Negron's yeah. the, the, the a real deal. Negron's a dangerous the real fighter. Deal. It's yeah. you know. I don't know where he goes if he does ever get back into the top 10 or top 15. He definitely can get there. And just because he didn't stop this guy in the first round, that's not an indication. He's being smart. He's being cautious. He's trying to get a couple rounds in. Nice body very shot smart. There. Very nice. He's basically using uh, Tubbs as a body bag right now. Yes. And I think he could stop. He's him picking his shots. He's picking his shots. Yeah. He's a big, big, strong fighter. Yeah, extremely. He's got decent speed and decent footwork for oh, that Oh, yeah, nice body shot there. Yeah. He's doing he that right. A powerful yeah. punch. As you said, he throws a jab. He doesn't want to get hit. His hands go right back up. Yep. He knows what he's doing. He's hitting a body at will. Thundering body shots. You can hear them right here. He has some power. You can tell that. Um, uh, oh, right to the head. Oh, oh, right up to the head. And I think you said it. The counting is a knockdown. I don't know if he's going to get up. He doesn't want to fight, but he's trying to trying to do the best he can. He's nodding his head, yes. Look, he wants he to He wants continue. to fight. I don't want to see this kid get hurt. He's out of his league. He's not going to win. He's, he's completely trying. out of his league. And oh, that's all she wrote. Oh, that was a one-two hook and then hook to the head. That's it. That was hook a nice combination. Body, Very hook nice to the combination. Head. I think he's okay. He's going to get up. They should stop this fight here. Yeah, he did. The fight now. stopped. Oh, the done. Rest. Okay, what am I saying? It's over. So there we go. Doctor's going to take a look at him. Negron did what he had to do. Veteran. Very experience. nice combination in the end. Beautiful left took to the body. Left to the head, as you can see. Tubbs is up. Got to give him credit. Getting down on himself, but there's nothing to be, you know, he came. He got up after two knockdowns. At Listen, he could have bailed earlier. Would. He could have bailed, but he didn't bail. He stayed in. Pretty much what we expected. I agree with you. I mean, we know it was going to be a short fight, uh, but uh, Negron showed a very solid punch. Determination is quick, and uh, I mean, he has a lot to show still. Negron is very composed in there. Very, I mean, he's... He's a top 15, top 20 fighter for sure. No doubt. He was taking his time. You can tell he has experience. I like the way he's boxing. 
true. Very experienced kid, 33 years old. Not bad for a heavyweight, making a comeback. He was in there against a the guy that we knew he was going to win or beat, but uh, stayed very composed, like I told Francesco. What do you think? I mean, he's got a shot I mean, at his size and his weight if he, if he continues to fight. You know, with that size, there's always a chance. And he's, you know, he's got the, he's got the background, he's got the experience, he's clearly got the power. So I don't Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for both fighters, please. Go to the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Miami Airport Convention Center in Miami, Florida, your referee in charge, Sam Burgos, calls a halt to the bout at one minute. 25 seconds of the second round. Your winner by TKO, Carlos Negro.